China just released news about a top-of-the-range weapon. Hey, so get this. Chinese scientists claim they've come up with a brand new speedy weapon that can basically wreck a heavy-duty tank. Today's topic will be interesting. But before we get into the details, do us a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. Your support means a lot. Alright, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now this development will undoubtedly send shock waves across the US military establishment. You may be wondering, why? Here's the backstory. This groundbreaking study was led by Huang Ji at the China Aerodynamics Research and Development Center. They found that a single shot from a kinetic energy weapon could seriously mess up a US tank like the US M1 Abrams. And guess the wild part? This weapon can mess up a tank with just a glancing hit. Sounds like something out of a movie, right? They're saying that just one shot from this 20 kg solid sphere moving at four times the speed of sound could mess up a tank real bad even without any visible damage on the outside. Now the energy packed in this projectile is about 25 megajoules. Doesn't sound like much, right? It can wreck the insides of a tank even if the outside looks untouched. Talk about a sneaky one. These Chinese researchers were shy about name-dropping the specific US tank, but they hinted it's enough to mess with a 40-60-ton tank like the Abrams. Imagine that. So here's the scoop. Chinese scientists did some serious testing on kinetic energy weapons against US military tanks. It turns out, one shot could take out a tank without even showing any external damage. They found out that this new solid sphere thing they've created can zoom at Mach 4 and packs a punch of about 25 megajoules of energy. To put it in simpler terms, that's like 7 kilowatt hours of electricity. You might be thinking, can a little thing like that really take down a huge tank? Well, according to the researchers, yep. Even though the tank might look fine from the outside, this sneaky projectile wrecks the insides. They found out that important bolts connecting stuff inside the tank can break, making it impossible for the crew to get the tank back to fighting shape. Now the cool or scary thing about these high-speed kinetic projectiles is that they don't need to smash right through the armor like traditional anti-tank weapons. Even a grazing hit can cause serious damage. And get this, they might even launch these things using rail guns. Talk about futuristic. The scientists explain that testing these kinetic projectiles is way trickier than your usual armor-piercing rounds. Instead of using a small piece of armor, they have to consider the whole tank structure. The shock wave from the hit travels through the entire vehicle, messing with bolts and causing all sorts of issues. Now here's the science part. Kinetic energy projectiles use crazy high speeds to pack way more punch than the explosives they carry. Tank crews usually point the front toward threats, thinking it's the toughest part. But if one of these kinetic projectiles hits that section, it sends destructive stress inside, messing up the tank's firepower. Now this whole thing is interesting because while public attention on this idea kind of faded in the past decade, China's study shows they're still researching hypersonic kinetic kill anti-tank tech. It's like a speedy missile faster than Mach 5 with a kinetic penetrator could totally change the game in anti-tank capabilities. And hey, the US was working on something similar called the Compact Kinetic Energy Missile, but it hit a roadblock back in 2009. Wonder where things stand now? So picture this. A 20 kilogram solid sphere zooming at four times the speed of sound. That's the kind of projectile we're talking about. The energy it carries is around 25 megajoules. Now that might sound like a lot, but if we convert it to electrical energy, it's just a bit more than what it takes to cook up two Christmas turkeys. Now the cool part, or kinda scary part, is this seemingly small amount of energy can mess up the inside of a tank, even if the outside looks totally fine. These Chinese researchers found that during simulations, the tank might seem untouched but the bolts inside connecting important gear to the cabin wall could break. Even if the crew survives, the tank is basically out of action. Now here's the kicker. 
this anti-tank weapon might not necessarily be deadly to the crew. Usually, tank crews aim the front towards the threat because it's super rugged. But if this kinetic projectile hits that section, it sends destructive stress inside, making up the tank's firepower. The researchers mentioned it could lead to a major firepower loss. Another study from the Dalian University of Technology suggests that if this thing hits an American M1 tank head-on, it could cause some injuries to the crew. Minor wounds for the loader, moderate for the gunner, severe for the commander, and the driver could end up seriously hurt or worse. The researchers pointed out potential consequences. The tank gun stabilizer starts losing grip. Then the console's wiring base gets yanked out. Finally, the connections between the firepower computer and the turret are severed. That means a big loss of firepower for the US M1 Abrams. The researchers pointed out that high-speed hits from kinetic projectiles could make certain spots in armored targets fail big time. And get this, the kinetic projectiles are already going over safety limits set by the US military standard MIL-STD-810. By the way, that's like a rulebook made by the United States Department of Defense to check how tough equipment is. The idea is to make sure military gear can handle all sorts of situations it might face. Let's talk about the M1 Abrams, the iconic US main battle tank. This beast has been its fair share of upgrades since 1980 and has a rich history from the Gulf War to Iraq. With its multi-fuel turbine engine, advanced Chobham composite armor, and high-tech fire control system, it's been a force to be reconned with. But guess what? This study from China is suggesting that even the mighty Abrams might not be immune to the threat posed by these high-speed kinetic projectiles. Talk about a paradigm shift in how we see armored warfare. Oh, and interestingly, the US was working on something similar called the Compact Kinetic Energy Missile, but it hit a roadblock back in 2009. Wonder where things stand now. The plot thickens. There is no doubt that the US military establishment will swing into action. It is possible they will try and resurrect their own project. They will aim for a more advanced system to counter the Chinese developed system. It is important for the US to achieve an edge in the development of kinetic warfare weapons. But you and I know that the US does not work as faster as China in getting approvals and such. It is possible that by the time the US develops an appropriate kinetic weapon to respond to the Chinese one, China will be much ahead. Otherwise, in the near future, the United States may face huge losses in the battlefield, particularly in relations to tank warfare. Now beyond the battlefield, this has some serious implications. As countries like China keep pushing the envelope in military tech, global security and warfare could be in for a big shakeup. China publishing this also invites other countries at war with the US to try and get a piece of the technology. If this happens, it will undoubtedly give the countries a fighting edge over the US military presence in various countries around the world. It has the potential of tipping over the balance of military power over China. It's a wake-up call that no matter how advanced a military power is, they can just kick back and relax in this ever-changing combat landscape. So there you have it, a newfangled weapon that might just change the game in the tank warfare. And China is leading other countries in the development of kinetic energy weapons. How the US will react to this new development will be seen in the coming days. Things are getting really interesting. We're really curious about what you think. Your comments mean a lot to us, so don't hold back. Drop your thoughts below. And if you're into what's happening around the world, especially in the economic and geopolitical scenes, we've got some videos coming your way. So stay tuned and catch you in the next one.